us on the other side, and that is Fire in the Hole. Everybody go, Fire in the Hole! Fire oh. Yeah, those dirty old ball and nervous came in the town last night and set the whole city ablaze. Now the fire chief needs some help putting out that raging, that blazing. Everyone say it again with me. Fire in the Hole! Fire in the Hole! You guys are doing so good. Now up ahead on your right, you're going to see Wilson's Farm. Oh, Farmer Wilson built himself a big old barn and an even bigger barn swing. Now that thing takes you 75 feet straight up in the air and plummets you back to the earth at 50 miles per hour. There sure ain't no chickens in that barn, that's for sure. Now we're going down a pretty steep hill here, and I can't help but notice a few worried faces. Well, folks, worry no more. We got the best breaks that money can buy. Yep, they'll be here next week. So, in the meantime, I'm going to need everybody, and I do mean everybody, put your hands above your head. Come on, put them up. And go, woo! You now know the emergency procedures when we lose the brakes on this train. <laughs> It'd be like a roly coaster. Hey, speaking of which, up ahead on your left, you're going to see the powder cake. It's our cannon coaster, and it'll take you from zero to 60 in just two and a half bar feet. Well, that's as much as I remember. That's <laughs> so embarrassing. And on your right, you're going to see my outlaw run put a best new ride in the world back in 2014. Now it takes you 16 stories up, plummets you to the earth at 68 miles per hour. But it doesn't stop there, no sir. It takes you upside down, not once, not twice, but three times. I guess that's why they say the good guys always win. Now, I didn't want to alarm anyone, but I did receive word back to Depot. The two notorious train robbers, Alfie and Alfie Bowen, are broken out of jail. Everybody go, oh no! Oh no! So if you got any gold and silver in your mouth, keep your mouth shut. And your eyes peeled. Now, heads up, guys, I've seen a lot of deer out here and a lot of does, so be sure to keep an eye out. You might see them. Yeah. Now, we're coming up on the engineer's favorite stop on this trip. Moonshine Stump. Yes, the local moonshiners like to put a jug of their best wares out by the tracks for any passer by or to try. So if you'd like to try a swig, just raise your hand, please. We'll drop you off and pick you up. And I do mean pick you up. Oh, Grandpappy called that stuff frog water. One sip, you're going to turn a little green. Two sips, you got to start a hopping. And three sips, well, <laughs> you're going to croak. Had a drug in my throat. Silver dollar line. The wreck of engine 82. One of our engineers, old Ikebachu Peabody, took this corner at a reckless speed of 18.9 miles per hour and derailed off the track. Well, we went looking through the wreckage. A couple days later, we found old Ikebachu. We dusted him off, cleaned him up a bit, and gave him another jug of moonshine. I'll give you folks three guesses. <laughs> Who your engineer is today? Hey, Ichabod, if you're in my engine, give me three toots on that whistle, please. Uh, Ichabod, I said three, not two, sir. Oh, well, because I'll show you folks, there's three types of people in this world. Those who can help and those who can't. If you didn't get that joke, which one are you? <laughs> now. We are entering rattlesnake country, so please keep your arms inside this train at all times. Because just the other day, I had this lady dangling her arm out that window. A 97-pounded rattlehead of from Austin grabbed her by that arm and pulled her clean off the train over the other side, and down the hill they went. Now, I haven't seen hiding her hair of them since, but I see her husband, though. Yes, sir, down to Silver Dollar Saloon every day, singing, Happy Days Are Here Again. But we're not supposed to be stopping out here in rattlesnake country. You know what they said last time. We lost that lady. They didn't like it. It was not a good thing. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. Talking about a couple of snakes, folks. It's old Alfie and Ralphie Bowen. Everybody go, oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see if we can scare those two snakes off. Why don't you shake your fist at them, call them ugly. Snakes. Ugly. Oh, come on, guys. You did better at a fire in the hole. I want you to shake your fist at them, call them, call them. Ha, 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 ha.
I said, oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well, we may be ugly, but at least we're stupid, so... <laughs> <laughs> Get well, over here. Did I say that right? Well, yeah, it was close enough. Okay. You said it perfect. Uh-huh, I see there. It was perfect. That was a big idea to stop my train out here. I don't think country. Who we just stopped the train to warn you? <laughs> About what? Yankees! <laughs> Yankees! Yeah, up around that bend up there. Nine of them. Got these big old wooden war clubs. They're swinging at this and they're swatting at that. They just don't really seem to hit much. I'm scared to ask this question, but why is that? I think they're New York Yankees. <laughs> Bowen, there has not been a single Yankee in these woods for 50 years. 50, 50 years? Well, they're back. They're back. They're back? Yeah, they're sort of old now, but they're back. <laughs> they're mean. Well, if they're so mean, there's only one thing I can do. That's right. Hey, come on, back this train up. No, you don't back it up, you big chicken. Chicken? Chicken. You gotta go up there and fight them. Fight them. You know, F I T. Fight them. Fight them. Fight them. Fight them. Fight, fight, fight. I'm on them. Push them back. Shove them back. Way back. Are you done? That's all, folks. <laughs> I can't go around the bend to fight nine old Yankees with just a rusty old shotgun. I get shot! <laughs> yeah, you would, would he? Yeah. Find that funny? Yeah. No. 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 Mercy, no. Matter of fact, me and Ralphie, we stayed up all night. We thunk you up this brilliant plan. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. You're going to love it. It's got two parts. Okay, part number one. You get on board your train, you wrestle up all your little bitty kids, see, you know, your little curtain climbers, and send them up first, your first wave of ankle biters. <laughs> You know, I could call them my infant treats. All right. <laughs> Moving right along. Part two. Get on the train, get all your men. Get all your big, big, strong, strong, husky. Uh -uh. You know, your train's really hurting for big, strong, husky men. Yeah, I saw like one or two get on back at the depot. Yeah, about one or two is all I see, too. Maybe you can get that grin off your face, buddy, because you ain't one of them. You get all your train, you get all your kids, see, and, and your men, such as they are. You lead the way with that trusty, rusty shotgun and go up there and whoop them Yankees. You know, i got to hand it to you. This is the dumbest idea I've ever heard. Dumb. Yeah, I told you you liked it. Dumb? Dumb? Why is it dumb? All right, so I get myself, mm -hmm. get all the kids, right. get all the men, right. and that guy. Mm -hmm. We go up there and we fight them Yankees. Charge! That leaves you two here alone with a trailload of women. Hello, girl. Uh -huh. Bag it up, bag it up. I'm buying this Yankee story. Well, you don't have to buy it. It's free. Well, thank you. I still don't want it. Oh. But for the safety of my passengers, I'll go check this out. <laughs> That's a good idea. You know, I got a good idea for you two also. Stay away from the train. Catch you anywhere near and I'm going to give you both a big surprise. Surprise? Hey, we love surprises. What you got? Woo! Having another belly button. Oh, uh, you give my surprise to Ralph. Yeah, you give my surprise to Ralph. Ralph? Wait, I'm Ralph. Yeah. Hey, I don't want another belly button. Why not? Well, another would be like a naval reserve. <laughs> That's all I got. All right, now, in case you all hadn't figured it out yet, we are the Notorious Bowling Gang. I'm Alfie Bowling. This here is my little brother, Ralph. And what we have here is a stick-up. All right. <laughs> Guys, you might want to laugh now. That's the best joke of the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a train robbery. So I want you all to get your hands up in the air and act really scared. Everybody. Everybody. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. Oh, no. Check this out, Ralph. I got the whole train doing it. They got their hands up, they're acting scared. <laughs> what are you doing? You said everybody get your hands up and act scared. Well, I do. You're on my side. That's why I'm scared. We forget that. <laughs> Ralph, if I told you to dive off a cliff and big pile of rocks, are you going to do that? Not again. No. <laughs> uh, you know that little talk we had up in the shack last night? Yeah, about shaking the chickens to make scrambled eggs. <laughs> That's hard on chickens. Quit doing that. No, about train robbing. Yeah, train robbing. Yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm going to learn you one more time. Now pay attention. The first thing you got to do is put your hand out in front of you, just like that. Just like that? Good. Ooh. Now, put this mean, nasty look on your face. Why mean and nasty? You get more money that way. Oh. 
<laughs> you call that nasty? No, but she does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're well, going to find her. We're going to practice on her. Now, you march, march down that gal and say, Give me your gold and silver. Yeah. Give me your gold and silver, you blockhead. No, Ralph. <laughs> You're the blockhead. Oh, wait, I'm the blockhead. I think she knows that already. Did you know that already? Everybody sure. knows it already. It's just give me your gold and silver. I ain't got none. <laughs> Say that to her. I ain't got none. <laughs> well, <laughs> good. We're just going to rob the train, okay? Rob's on the train. No, Rob's not on the train. We're going to rob the train. We're going to rob the train. That's right. Now, I'm going to rob these folks back here in the back. You can have all these high rollers up here in the front. The high rollers. Now, once you get the gold. Gold. Silver. Silver. Copper and dollars. Copper and dollars. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Not their daughters. Their dollars. Dollars. Yeah, you know, D-A-W-L-R-Z. Dollars. Yeah. Yankee money. Yankee money. Yeah. I know what that is. Gold, silver. Gold work for relatives. It's a bad idea. Gold, silver. Hey, gold or silver. I'll take a check. Yeah, it's like me. Oh, the gold is silver. I like robbing children with jobs. Gold, silver. 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 <laughs> Getting a lot of fives, no tens or twenties though. Wait a minute, I think I did something wrong. <laughs> gold, silver. Gold, silver. Any oh, sense at all? I got some. Gold, silver. No, wait, wait, wait. Ooh, cash, that trash. <laughs> there you go. Uh oh. Hi, Ralphie. What you do? Uh, I was just robbing the train, talking to the train. Well, you know, I got something for you to talk about. What you got to talk about? How about some lead? Lead? Hey, I don't need no lead. Why not? Well, I run better run lead. <laughs> Call your dumb brother up here. Call him what? Call him up here. Up here. What? It's not what I meant. Well, it is what you said. You know what? You are this close to an idiot. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So what is the problem up here? Him. Well, he's been a problem all my life. <laughs> Apparently. The other thing is, I go all the way down there, I don't find a single Yankee. So were they all married Yankees? No! <laughs> the other thing is, I find you two skunks robbing my train. Oh, well, we're sorry about that. Well, tell me you're sorry. Tell these folks you're sorry. You sure? I'm positive. Ralph, tell them you're sorry. You're sorry. <laughs> I have had enough of you two. I'm going down these steps, counting the three. I'm going to shoot myself a bowling. You're bowling. So you're bowling. Sorry. Run, run. So Find a place to hide, Ralph. One. Two. One and a half. Sorry. Hang on, I can't get the door open. You got a problem there, Ralphie? Yeah, I can't get in. The door's locked. Well, why don't you look under them for a key? Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Wait a second, I don't think we got a key. We ain't got a mat. <laughs> well, I hope it feels better when the pain goes away. Yeah, I do. Oh, that's smart. Well, you could use I'll be in Ralphie Bowling, everybody. Yeah, Give him a great big hand. Bye, and on out here all day long, working hard for just a little bit of this. Say bye, Alfie and Ralphie. Bye, Alfie and Ralphie. Bye. 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 We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, folks. <laughs> now, guys, if you came in on a one-day ticket today, be sure to upgrade to a season pass for just a little bit more money. You can come back and have fun with us all year long. Now, we have fun all year long during the summer months up to October doing this show. But in December and November, we have sing-along steam train, five million Christmas lights, and this year we're adding another 1.5 million more just to Midtown alone. So you don't want to miss it. We're going to light up your life. Hey, would you look at that? Outlaw Run is so fast that it moves to your left-hand side. You know, they do an awful lot of screaming on that ride, and I think we can do better than they do. So we're going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned old dark mountain screaming contest as we go through Sweet Mary's Tunnel. So when I call out the car number, I want you to scream out as loud and as proud as you can, but only when I call out your number, please. If you don't know where you're sitting, look in front of you. There's your number. Sit between your windows.
All right, guys, get ready. Get set. And here we go. Car one, scream. Car two, scream. Car three, scream. I think I'll miss one for a second. Hey, it come on. I don't think so, sir. Three or four. I need a better answer than that. So tell me who do you think? Three or four. Three or four. There you have it. Car four it is. Car four, you were the winners of the screaming contest. Give yourselves a hand. You're all the hot air in this train. Guys on your left hand side, you're going to see our roundhouse, that is where we maintain our cars, our engines, and of course from time to time our engineers. But you will notice something a little weird about that. Yes, it's weird. Here at Silver Dollar City, we've got no corners when we build a building. And up ahead on your right, you're going to see Fireman's Landing, built a few years ago in dedication to all of our hardworking firefighters out there. God bless every single one of them for everything they do. And they have all kinds of activities for your younger viewers and our own staff, all of our grown adults out there. It is had a bunch of them So go on down there and have fun together as a family, folks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the last leg of our journey before we go through our last crossing. I think it'd be mighty fine if we waved at everybody that was waiting on either side of the track and said, Howdy, that's a car four. You guys won our screaming contest. I think we should do something special for you. Now get those arms lumbered up, and those voices ready. <laughs> Alright guys, get ready, get set, and here we go. Car 1, wave and say howdy! Car 2, wave and say howdy! Car 3, wave and say howdy! Howdy! Wave and say hey, hey, hey! <laughs> As we come back from the depot, take a moment to look around and make sure you haven't forgot anything you brought on board. Be it the items you bought, your trash, your relatives, heck, even your trashy relatives. If you don't want them, I don't want them either. Guys, don't look at each other like that. That's not nice. Now, remain seated until I let you know it's safe to exit. The engineer's going to set the brakes. We're going to roll backwards a little bit. So please, for your safety, remain seated. I'll let you know it's safe. Please wait.